So for today's sharpening video, we have the SOG blade light. This belongs to a customer, it's not my own. Uh, he sent it in for sharpening. It is dull, it's not super dull. The edge is in pretty good shape, definitely way better than I'm used to getting. Uh, it does have a couple small nicks that need to be removed, and it's just dull. Uh, it's called the blade light because the front here is laced with these LEDs. It has a button here in the handle. Pretty neat, very comfortable in the hand, and I love the blade shape. This is definitely a great, great knife. Great, uh, I could see it being a great hunting knife, great skinner. So, let's get started here. I am going to start out on my Nanawa 400 grit stone. And I have the Nanawa, just plain old Nanawa blade holder here. And a freshly flattened stone. If you want to see how to flatten your whetstone, check out this video here in the top corner right now. Head over there and watch that, and then come back. I'm starting out on the 400 grit. That's kind of a judgment call. You always want to look at your blade, test your edge, your apex in the light, see where those nicks and dings are so you can focus. And then you get to work once you've chosen your stone. I probably could have started higher with this one. If you were maybe a beginner at sharpening, I would have maybe started up around uh, probably a thousand grit. I would have started with my 1000 grit just so you didn't make any mistakes. I'm starting with the 400 grit. This is a lovely stone, cuts very nicely. Now I'll check my progress and see what work I've done. So my angle is dead on, now I'll switch over to the other side. Now some people, notice I was sharpening here, cutting towards me. Some people now will rotate the knife and cut away. I switch back and forth. Sometimes I do that, but I'm a pretty ambidextrous person. So a lot of times I just switch to the other hand and continue cutting towards me, just on the other side. Um, either side, there's, there's no better or worse. I just like seeing the cut edge, so I switch. I find it's a little easier to do that. As long as you keep an eye on your progress, make sure you aren't removing more steel than you need to. Some guys just sharpen and sharpen and sharpen. They're talking away, not really paying attention to what they're doing. They're sharpening a lot more than they need to, removing a lot more steel than they need to. This is a nice blade profile. Nice round sweep. Something I kind of try to emulate with some of my own knives. So as I'm getting to where I figure I'm about done with the 400, I'll start lightening up pressure big time. And when I'm really close to being done, within a few strokes, I'll start only doing cutting strokes. Just so I don't have any of a burr left on there. And just to guarantee I don't have any burr, I'll just lightly drag my edge through a piece of soft wood, just ever so lightly, just to pull off any burr, and then just finish off with a few cutting strokes, and you'll be done with that grit. And then even with this 400 grit, if you do that exact, exact process, you'll have a beautiful edge. like I have there now. Throw that back in the water and let's get our 1000 grit stone. I'll repeat the exact same steps as I did with the 400 grit. Let's switch over to the other side, keep going, and then when we're almost done, we repeat the same thing. Light cutting strokes. I'll draw through a piece of wood to ensure there's no burr. A few more cutting strokes after that. And then we move to our next stone. Just like clockwork. When you get good at it, just repeat the same steps. Doesn't matter the steel. You might need to uh, take a little longer on each step if there's really hard steel involved. 
nice light strokes. A light draw through a piece of wood. Ooh, I can feel the bite to that edge there now. As it glides through the wood, I can feel it grabbing, sinking in. Check to make sure we are removing the nicks we need to remove. And we are. So remember now, just slight cutting strokes. You don't want to bring a burr back on there. A burr is a little bit of wire created a lot of times at the apex of your edge. So doing cutting strokes ensures that there's no burr. Strapping strokes often does create a burr because you're pulling at the steel. Super light pressure here now. And now I will go over to my 3000 grit nanowire. We'll come back when I'm finishing up with my 6,000. So I'll do the necessary steps in this stone now, the exact same as you've saw already. Move over to my 6,000, and then we'll, we'll have a look at what we have here. Okay, so I just drew through my piece of wood ever so slightly, and I'm just doing a few cutting strokes, super light extra light here just to create that perfect rock solid edge no burr no wires grabbing let's clean off that little bit of residue now I'm gonna pull in my strap this is just a rough sided paddle strap so this is just a piece of sort of a suede leather that I made myself that I glued to a piece of wood I carved out this Kind of sort of handle shape here. A little bit crude, but it does the job. And I'll just give a few strapping strokes, not a lot, because if you've done your stonework right, you shouldn't need a whole lot of strapping. You can do a few strokes on one and then a few on the other, or you can do ones or I usually a little more systematic about my strapping, but not needed especially with this os8 steel it's not overly hard so it doesn't need a ton of work I'll just try to wipe off a little bit of compound usually and then this is just an old guitar strap so you see it's a little bit glossy it is still leather but it's a finished leather it's a processed leather so I like finishing up on the finished leather and lots of times I will increase my angle just the slightest amount. You can see the light shimmering off our edge there now. It's because it is a beautiful 6,000 grit mirror polished. Just make sure you cover all that edge. And we should be good. Let's do an edge test here. So I'm just going to do the slightest amount. Just enough for you to see that it is shaving. Whew. Definitely shaving sharp. Super shaving sharp with just that bit of work you saw there. And we have a beautiful mirror finish. This edge both looks great and will perform great. So that is it for the sharpening. Hope it helped you out. Hope that information could help you. If you have this exact same blade, you should be able to follow these exact same steps. If you don't have as many stones, if you just have a basic combo stone, uh, you'll still be fine. It might take you a little bit longer to work through each step, but you'll get the same results, I'm confident, if you put in the effort. Hope you enjoyed it. Hit that like button, leave me a comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments, or head over to my Facebook page. A little plug there for my Facebook. Head over to Facebook.com and search up Kyle Knowles with the Dash Weeder Fan, so the exact name of the channel that you're seeing there. And uh, I'd love it if you'd like my Facebook page. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.